Today, we're gonna to be taking a closer look at my YouTube monetization status, and I'm gonna be using it to show you just how powerful scenario modeling in Power BI can be. Hi, if you're new here, uh, this is a YouTube channel primarily focused on business intelligence. Business intelligence is generally kind of the concept of the data analyst. It's the person that's not quite a data engineer, not quite a data scientist, not quite a business analyst who works with data in order to solve and answer questions for professionals or their stakeholders. I primarily talk about Power BI, SQL. I've made a couple of videos on Python, one video on C Sharp. But in general, that's who I am. That's who I talk about. Today we're going to be talking about Power BI and we're going to be talking about scenario modeling. And we're going to be making this really simple, really ugly calculator to show you just how powerful it is. So first, what is a scenario model? A scenario model is essentially a model that allows you to put in inputs and get an output. It's essentially you are answering a question with a bunch of known variables and you're putting those known variables into a formula and you're getting an output. So in the case of how much money am I going to make this month if I'm an hourly employee, it's my total hours worked times my you know, hourly wage, right? In, in this case, the question I was wanting to answer is how much longer until I'm monetized on YouTube? If you don't know, uh, in order to be monetized on YouTube, you have to have 4,000 watch hours, 1,000 subscribers, and uh, you have to do that all in 365 days, and it's a rolling 365 days. In this case, I have a thousand subscribers. So the question is, is how close am I to my watch hours? And what I found is I had to wake up in the morning, right? And I would check my stats overnight and I'd look at my watch time and I'd be like, well, did this hurt me or help me in getting to that 4,000 hour goal? And the math to do that is really simple. You essentially, you know, take how long you've been making YouTube videos for and you say, hey, if what do I need to average over the remaining of the 365 days in order to be monetized? So this is a very simple formula. It's a known formula that I can predict and I have known outputs and I essentially just want to get a date and how many days are left. So I went ahead and I built this Power BI report. Now, it's not a super pretty Power BI report, but it, what it essentially allows me to do is it allows me to input a date, right? Input my watch time as of that date, input in how many hours I'm going to average a day, and then it outputs how many days I have left to 4,000 watch hours, and at what day I will hit 4,000 watch hours from the 16th. So then I can go, oh, was that within the rolling 365 days, right? <laughs> if it was, great. I know I'm on track for monetization. If it wasn't, then I'm like, uh oh, what do I need to do to increase my engagement? Now, if you're just watching this video because you saw YouTube monetization and you want this calculator, it's linked down in the video description on my GitHub. You can go download the Power BI file and install Power BI for free and go run and play around with this calculator. But if you're interested in this because of the concept of scenario modeling, hold on because we're about to talk about that. You see, often in business, we have these questions that are really very simply answered, but we're just having to answer them all the time over and over again. Well, what if we did this? What if we did that? You know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, building out a calculator for the most common of those scenarios is something that is, I would recommend, frankly. Um, and the way you do this is you use what are called uh, what if parameters. So in this case, right, I went into modeling and I did new, new parameter. And it used to be called what if parameter, but they renamed it to, uh, I believe, numeric range, right? So you go in numeric range and you enter in a parameter and you enter in a whole, either whole number, decimal, or fixed decimal. You give it a min and a max, and then you give it an increment. And then what you get are is you get this calculated table, right? Which has, uh, for example, this, it just uses generate series into the calculated table. And then it generates right here, a parameter for you or a value little question mark is because it's like a what if and then a parameter value which is essentially just a DAX measure returning selected value you can then reference this parameter value in different formulas in order to create kind of calculated fields like this and it's really powerful when dealing with kind of almost semi non-technical business users that you want to be able to do this kind of modeling and this kind of what if scenarios but you don't necessarily 
trust them to build the model correctly on their own. Now, what I've shown you today is really a pretty simple model, but you can build really complex ones. Imagine a Power BI report that can essentially generate an entire sales forecast just by people going in and moving around sliders, right? So like increase sales from prior year by 10% and decrease profit by from the year before by 30%. What does that look like for this next year, right? You can envision that kind of modeling with this and this feature of Power BI is so powerful and, and incredibly undervalued. All right, well, that's it for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, only 85% of you that are watching my videos are actually subscribed. So I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. Uh, you know, I think you could see from my model about 200 days away from being monetized. So thank you for watching the video all the way through. The watch time is what's really uh, it's well it's important to me right now uh because you know i'm working towards this goal um but yeah thanks for watching and i hope you have a good night